Welcome to The Essence, where we have casual conversations with impact leaders. Quick pulse checks with no BS. Today, we're speaking with Vanessa Chung, Group Managing Director of Nanfeng Development and founder of The Mills. Hi, Vanessa. How are you doing? Katie. Thank you so much for your time. I just wanted to pick your brains on a few things while you're here. First question is, tell us in one sentence what The Mills represents. Um, the Mills represents uh, not just a heritage conservation project, but uh, uh, a destination uh, for different generations to come together uh, to celebrate um, and to get inspired by the heritage and um, what's future. I love that. So back to you, Vanessa, you're wearing many hats and considering what you've achieved across investment, philanthropy and the family business at Nanfeng and with the backdrop of what's going on in Hong Kong, we'd like to know what keeps you going these days. Of course, uh, my, my family is also mm -hmm. one thing that keeps me going. Thanks. Thanks for reminding us on all the positive things like family and having the growth mindset. Let's uh, talk about your sustainable fashion, kind of also your impressive venture portfolio that you've built through the Fabrica Fund. Uh, we know you focus on textile and food and ag, and a lot of the portfolio companies are very impressive. To name a few, it's Renew Cell, A Day, Avenue. Can you tell us, have you achieved some exits already in, in your portfolio? Yeah, we. Um... Well, thank you for being so kind. We're still in a very humble stage, I think, and still trying to see uh, how best we can uh, be productive or contribute more to the ecosystem. Uh, we have exited uh, Renew Cell, as some of you might have known. Um, we uh, have gone IPO, I think, two years now, two years wow. ago. And the uh, uh, so that was uh, one very big milestone for Fabrica itself and, of course, to Renew Cell. Mm -hmm. And um, other ones that we, we work very closely and been very also accomplished quite a lot is with the uh, Unspun. Mm -hmm. I think their technology has uh, been driven not only to disrupt the denim industry, but also people um, catering to different people's needs. Mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, we, we usually look, we, we find ourselves more now uh, uh, more interested and, and see ourselves more helpful in um, the material tech and deep tech sort of space. Mm -hmm. um, so things that are more disruptive or that can help with um, supply chain um, mm -hmm. more than um, individual commercial brands. We also um, do incubation and also put the put different startups that come to us uh, to uh, understand their needs and then put them in touch with the right uh, parties to help them scale or solve certain uh, uh, particular problems that they each encounter. Great, that's really very impressive. And it's also heartening to hear that you've already achieved some really impressive wins. So we definitely at SFI learn a lot from the Fabrica Fund. Do you consider yourself as a risk taker? And tell us one of the biggest risks that you've ever taken to get to where you are today. <laughs> I think, think I'm a little bit more of a dreamer than a risk taker <laughs> or maybe daydreamer. Uh, <laughs> um, well, one of the biggest risks that, be, you, that can be visualized, I guess, is the mills. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people did not mm -hmm. understand, like even internally in the company back then, uh, didn't quite understand or see how the mills can come into uh, mm -hmm. realization from right. uh, the concept stage. I think it wasn't until like the month before the official opening that, that the whole team actually think this, this is for real. Um, many of us, th many of the team members thought it's a, a, a bit of a miracle. One thing about what we've noticed as SFI is a lot of families, right? We call them the now generation who's now, you know, working on a family business, looking at investments. They want to create impact. What advice would you give to them? And for your own example, how did you find common ground within your own family? I think, uh, first of all, it should be something that you genuinely is interested in and believe in first. Mm -hmm. Then 
give different ideas or or things in your head a try and talk to as many people as you can. Get, get, have an always have an open mind because a good way to find common ground with your family is to, uh, if none of your family share the same interest, at mm-hmm. least um, you can kind of. Because passion is kind of contagious, you know. This mm-hmm. kind of good energy, uh, mm-hmm. drive. Uh, if that shines through, I think um, most family with love will support, will be supportive, and can be influenced by you. So, with that said, could you tell us maybe one development that we should be all sort of keeping our eyes on uh, when it comes to the mills or the fabrica funds that you could share? I think we are now venturing into ag tech. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anything on that field and we're doing lots of pack uh, uh, a big study on um, packaging mm-hmm. but I think it'll drive lots of impact investment in the field and um, many since Hong Kong mm-hmm. uh, has it has so, uh, a lockdown right now we're very blessed that we have a London outpost mm-hmm. so um, we're kind of sh- many of the physical uh, experiences if it's not taken in the a virtual realm we hope to bring it or execute it in london and keep the momentum going great last round which is rapid fire questions so first one venture philanthropy overrated or underrated uh overrated esg overrated or underrated underrated impact investing overrated or underrated uh underrated needs more int- attention i think <laughs> <laughs> great and this is the last one. Uh, through your leadership at the mills, what is one thing that you would like to impart to your own uh, children? Stay curious. Love that. Thank you, Vanessa. So with that, wishing you all the best. And thank you for spending time with us at The Essence. Take care. Thank you.